guys, welcome back to the channel Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise for those of you who are new to the channel and I post videos every Tuesday and Thursday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. Today's video is going to be my February book haul as it is now March, which is insane. We are basically in the third month of the year, which is crazy. And um, you might see me sipping some coffee this morning. Amazing. It's Dunkin' Donuts French Vanilla Coffee with French Vanilla Creamer. And some two spoonfuls of sugar. This mug I got says Coffee Mascara in Jesus. And it's pink with white polka dots. And I thought it was cute because I am a makeup artist. I love makeup. So mascara, of course. Coffee is just an essential for me. If not coffee, then tea. And Jesus, because hello. My videos are about him. But, um, yeah. So, this morning is a book haul. And this is a very massive book haul. Because some of these items were supposed to be in the January haul but they didn't get here until february so yeah and i actually still have one more book that's going to be showing up but um i have a copy of it here already for you guys so i'm gonna start off by showing you the three items that i received from my mother and my fiance um then i'm gonna show you guys the things that i got for free and then i'll show you guys review items or however i'll do it but the first three items are items that i got from my mother and my fiance so this first thing is actually a Bible study that I've been dying for for forever, and it's called Finding I Am by Lisa Turkers. It's how Jesus fully satisfies, how Jesus fully satisfies, satisfies, sorry, the cry of your heart from Lisa Turkers, and it's from Lifeway. My fiance got this for me off of Amazon, and I'm so, so happy he got this for me. Um, and it happened so randomly, like I was sitting in his house on his bed, and I saw somebody post this on Instagram, and I was like, oh my god, I really want this study. This is a study that I really, really want. And um, I wasn't saying it in a way that, you know, I want him to buy it, but it was just me stating the fact that this is a study that's on my list. Like, this, Discerning the Voice of God from Priscilla Shire, and um, some of Beth Moore's studies are, like, up there on my list of studies to get. So, he took my phone, he said, this is it. I said, yeah. He looked it up on Amazon, purchased it, and was like, it'll be here Wednesday. And it literally got here on my son's birthday. So, this was amazing. So, I have this. Can't wait to dive into this. It looks so amazing. There are DVD videos that go along with it. And I'm going to either try to purchase it or find it online. But um, with these studies, you can still do them without the DVD portions. Just do the um, weekly assignments instead of, like, the DVD study assignments. But, um, yes, I got that. This, I don't even know how much it was because, like I said, he got it off of Amazon. The next two books. Okay, so this next book's book is one that I said I didn't. Okay. I saw this book in Walmart um, about two months ago and picked it up. Had this book in the next book I'm going to show you guys in my cart. But I, when I got to the register, I thought about it. I was like, I don't need this book because, you know, this book reminds me of Fervent. And I've been to Walmart so many times, saw the book, would pick it up, put it down before I pay for it. Then my mom purchased it for herself, and I was like, oh my god, maybe I just need to buy it. So we went to Dunkin' Donuts, where she bought it from, um, and Penn Station. And they had it there. I was getting ready to purchase it. It was $15. I put it back down because I'm like, I don't need it. It's just as similar as Fervent. And someone here on YouTube commented on my video when I mentioned it and said that I need to get it because it is not similar to Fervent, but it's just as good as Fervent. Um, and it's just as powerful. So, my mom, I, I, you know, I told my mom, I said, Mom, hey, I want it because you got it for yourself. You knew I wanted the book. Hey, can you pick up the book for me? And she did. So, it's this one. It's A Woman's Guide to Spiritual Warfare, How to Protect Your Home, Family, and Friends from Spiritual Darkness by Quinn, Shira, and Ruth Ann Garlock. First of all, let me talk about this beautiful cover. This cover is gorgeous, you guys. I'm loving the cover. I love the ombre effect with the purple, pink, and blue. Just everything that I love. But yeah, this is the book and I can't wait to dive into this. It was $14.99. And this next book, okay, so this is not my actual copy. This is actually my mother's copy because, again, she purchased a book that I said I wanted when I was at Walmart but kept putting it down. And I'm showing you her copy because I am going to be getting this book really soon. Um, and it's called Becoming the Woman God Wants Me to Be, A 90-Day Guide to Living the Proverbs 31 Life by Donna Parto. Parto? Parto, I think that's how you say it. But um, what made me put this back is because for some reason I saw that, yeah, it says Parto's holistic plan includes all parts of your life, physical, relational, emotional, and spiritual. And um, I wasn't sure if I wanted it because of the whole holistic thing. And um, after I saw that my mom got it. And what I like about this is 
it has practical things in here as questions you can answer I'm trying to find a page okay so it's like things in here you can like check off and questions to answer things you can practice and like it literally helps you um week seven is about your personal appearance so like i decided i'm gonna get it um this was also 15 dollars at walmart or your local dunkin donuts or something like that so i definitely need to get my hands on this so i'm going to walmart tonight actually so if i find it i'm grabbing a copy because yeah but again this is my mother's copy but i'm showing you guys because this is the exact book that i'm going to be ordering tonight or tomorrow <laughs> so yeah had to show you guys that okay the next two items are actually okay so the next two items i'm going to show you guys are all review books because they're just stacked here so i'm going to start off with these two bible studies um i joined moody publishers i think that's what they're called moody publisher publishing house or something like that moody publishers um i basically googled different type of blogger review programs for christian book reviewers and ran across this company they're the company that does um the five love languages from gary chapman they also do a lot of like bible study books and they're also the ones that publish the um lie young, lies young woman i can't remember the name of the book i'll put the name the title of the book on the screen but um they published that book so i went on um requested to join they accepted me approved me so i got these two bible reviews i'm actually bible reviews bible study books so this first one that i got is called this i know trusting your unknown future to a known god by laura dingman you guys first of all this is a book that i saw on netgalley a while ago and opted not to get but i looked at the information like the synopsis of it and i loved it so i got it it's a six-week study and yeah it's just beautiful and I like the inside of it. It's really pretty. So I have that study for review that I got. And another one that I got is this one called Included in Christ, Living a New Story from Ephesians by Heather Holman. And I got it because you guys know I studied the book of Ephesians. Fell in love with Ephesians. I've already studied Ephesians twice. I studied it the first time with Sarah Kuntz with her Worthy of the Calling study, which I'll leave linked below because you can still check out that study. It's still available. Um, and then I studied it on my own personally reading through and studying Ephesians and I'm actually going to study it a third time with Kim Cash Tate because she has a series on Ephesians and then I'll be doing it a fourth time of course with this book so yeah and um I love the inside it's blue of course again really pretty and I just like study um bible study workbooks because I feel like I'm getting a lot more out of it so okay the next items are from BH bloggers um and lifeway they work together so bh publishing group sells their books with lifeway so they give you coupons to use with lifeway to get the books for free if that makes sense i'll leave links to all of these review programs that i'm talking about down below but um the first one is this being a christian how jesus redeems all of life by jason k allen and it's forwarded by john MacArthur. and this is what the book looks like i am excited to read this it is about um the gospel of jesus christ and how you can use it okay so it's basically saying how a lot of christians try to um compartment compartmentalize the gospel into certain sections but the gospel is supposed to be applied to all of your life um so this really just goes into that and let me just show you tell you guys the chapters so you can have a better understanding so it says you and the gospel, the gospel in your past, the gospel in your marriage, the gospel in your family, the gospel in your time, your money, your work, your recreation, your mind, your church, and the gospel in you. And I like this. I am excited to get into this. I actually have another copy coming that I purchased from a mother, which is why I said I had a book coming today. It is this book. But um, yeah, I can't wait to dive into that one. And then the last item is I actually have three copies of this because I purchased. I got one for review and purchased two. And it's this, it's the Kids Bible from uh, Lifeway. It is the Christian Standard Bible from Holman. Um, and it's the updated version of the HCSB, so it's the CSB. And, oh my god, isn't this gorgeous, you guys? It does come in other designs. But um, this one is for my son. I got this one specifically for him. My son is four years old. This Bible is good for kids around 7 to 12, maybe even 6 to 13, depending on your child. But um, it's the actual Bible in here, like the actual complete Bible. But I love that they have little articles throughout that can help you. Like it tells you about the Ten Commandments here. 
and this one tells you about the 10 plagues that happened so i ended up getting three like i said one of my copy the, the third copy will be here saturday but this is the um, other copy here so my son's copy this copy i'm actually giving away to a young lady at my church um i adore her mother so much and she actually her daughter gave me a photo um a few months ago and i was shocked because it was like on a random thing she just drew something and like gave me the photo and i made sure it was for me because i thought it was for my son and her spirit is so sweet and god basically led me to give this bible to her i did of course ask her mother if she had a bible first before asking her asking her mother if i could give it to her so i'll be giving this bible to her on sunday and i'll be filling it out and everything and i'm excited to do that i'm, re I'm really excited and um the third one i had coming was actually for me but the third bible that i have like this i will be saving for a giveaway soon on this channel so you guys can give um one of these bibles to your kids or your cousins or whatever your sister brother something like that Okay, the next three are books that I got from Blogging for Books. Sorry, I had to remember what it was. Blogging for Books. Um, so I have Find Your Brave by Holly Wagner. And I honestly got this because Lisa Turkers, um, was did a blurb on this and said it was really good. So I had to do this. And this is about navigating life storms and discovering courage like no other. There's also a study guide included in this, so I'm excited to get into that book. The next one is Nothing to Prove by Jenny Allen. Now, I already had this book before. Um, I had an art copy of it, but then my mom wanted to read it, and I just told her to keep it. Uh, so I re-requested the book because they had it back on the site. So this time they sent me a finished copy, and oh my god, the finished copy is gorgeous. This does come in hardcover, I think, so I know the hardcover is stunning. But um, it's about why we can stop... Okay, it's about just basically not trying to prove yourself to everyone else and to you because you're enough because of jesus and who god made you to be simply put that's what it's about and i'm excited to read this um jenny allen is the founder of if, if gathering so yeah have that the last one i have sorry you guys that book fell <laughs> the last one that i have is called whisper by mark batterson and if i'm not mistaken he's the guy that wrote um the circle maker or something like that I'm trying to find the name of the book because I can't find it. Mm, yes, he made the Circle Maker. Um, but I have never read any of his books. I've heard good things about his books and about his prayers and stuff like that. So I opted to get it. And it's basically how to hear the voice of God. So I had to get this. And it's super, super cute. I don't even know what it looks like without the dust jacket. So, oh, it's just a plain navy blue with silver you okay i'm trying to go through this quickly because i have a crap ton of things to show you guys so okay this next book is a book that i got off of a website i will leave a link to the website down below because you can request it it's called briefing the bible by dr j vernon mcgee it's a trusted tool to get you started studying every book of the bible so it's this freaking thick and it literally just gives you some basic details of every book of the bible seriously um so like this one says genesis so you have like what it is you have your writer your name information like where the name is from you get your outline some key information the purpose of it some commentaries and just important things about it um i have used this already when i studied luke and ephesians and it's really really helpful um, in the outline, I like that he gives you a more in-depth view of the outline as well. And I mean, they're like no more than six pages per book. But um, you have all 66 books of the Bible in here. And then he gives you information on how to use this, how to study the Bible, um, and just key things to get you to read your Bible. So I think this is a good book to own. I got myself a copy. I will leave a link down below to where you can grab a copy for yourself because you can only get one per household. So that's awesome. Everything else is going to be from Our Daily Bread because you guys know I'm obsessed with Our Daily Bread. I just love their ministry. So, I told you guys about the instrumentals that I love to listen to when I'm doing Bible, um, my Bible studies and stuff because sometimes I get carried away when I'm listening to Tasha Cobbs and all that other great stuff. So, this one here is the Symphonic Hymns and Hymns of Assurance. It's two discs in one um, case. And I think they come with 10 or 11 songs each. And this is one of the, not new ones, but this is one of the newest ones that I own. Um, I own about four or five 
or something of their CDs from their Our Daily Bread store. So I will link the store down below because these are items that you can get on donation fee. So that is that. Can't wait to crack that baby open. The next two items came together from their store on donation, and it's my search for the my search for Messiah with Michael Riddle Riddlenick. I don't know. He has a PhD. Um, and then this devotional, which is Scandalous Savior, How Jesus Revealed the Heart of God by Bill Crowder. They came together in a set, so I'm excited to look into them. I mean, I don't really know much about them. I just know that they're going to be good because anything from Our Daily Bread is good. And I read a lot of Bill Crowder stuff anyway from Our Daily Bread. Um, so, yeah, this is approximately... 49 minutes and then it has a bonus feature which is about 20 minutes so it's a good hour video and um yeah well hour and a half basically so that's that can't wait to get into that um the next one is overcoming life challenges lessons from the life of joseph also from bill crowder it's a small read but um i definitely want to get into this because joseph is the one that was sold into slavery but um he was favored by I th one of the guys there and we basically got a high position um so you know can't wait to get into that i got an updated version of she did what she could by alicia morgan um which actually what i did was i just ordered another copy of the book in the bible study because um i wanted to start giving away some of those on my in my facebook group which you guys should definitely check out the daughter of increase facebook group because we're doing our first Bible study. We're actually probably already in the second week of doing that Bible study by the time you see this video. So join that. But um, they actually sent me the updated version, which includes the book and the study guide in one. So it's She Did What She Could, Alicia Morgan, Five Words of Jesus That Will Change Your Life. And this is literally the updated version. And it has the book in the front. And then in the back, you have the actual study guide it used to be two separate books but i guess she combined it into one and i'm loving the new hardcover it's cute um okay so these next three items i got from i daily bread so i got these from their devotionals when they send their devotionals um actually this one is called he is risen it's 10 reflections from our daily bread it's basically kind of like an easter devotional and um i'm excited to get into this i ordered 10 of these i gave one to my mother and four away to my siblings so that's that i think i have like six or four copies left or something like that then i got this book here which is god's mysterious ways from gary enrig suffering grace and god's plan for joseph again another joseph story um a jo joseph based topical book and um i'm excited to read this this came with a devotional that i got from march because with the devotional they sent okay let me see if i can grab the devotional real quick because i literally have it here and i didn't want to go under here but you know gonna show you guys okay sorry <laughs> my desk is right behind me but so on the back of the march april may devotional they had this book um which is the book i just showed you but the card that was inside the envelope wasn't for this book so i just kindly emailed them and told them that the card that they put inside of the book um inside of the envelope wasn't the correct card for this book so what they did was just mail me a copy of the book because i had told them that they sent the wrong card but the card that was in the book for a free item was actually for this book which is the 365 devotions from our daily bread great is thy faithfulness and um it's a devotional and i freaking love it it is this nice um kind of faux leather brown material but because my mother also gets the same thing we have two copies so I'm not sure if I'm going to give this to my mom because she has so many books that she has yet to read <laughs> or if I'm going to give this away in the giveaway so it's still wrapped up the way it came. But um, yep, that's that. Okay. And the last items, oh my God, you guys are not going to freaking believe this. I'm going to show you guys real quick, right? All these books. These are all little miniature books that I got from Our Daily Bread, but this is actually from their Discovery series um, and they're basically little pamphlets little books little devotionals and little bible studies that i love to read when oh sorry when i have nothing else to read and the house phone just fell let me grab my coffee mm. okay i need to heat that back up but i'm gonna basically run through these real quick with you guys now i already have a stack of these previously that i've gotten over this over the year like i've already had this stack right 
but I went on their website and saw that they had like 60 other ones that I wanted and they actually had more than 60 but some of them you can't like have them some of them they don't have in booklet form they actually come in PDF and I didn't want the PDFs um, because I don't have any ink so I got these here so I'm gonna run through them quickly um, I'll probably do a separate video all about the discovery series um, books from our daily bread ministries but um this first one is 10 reasons to believe God became a man and it literally just goes through the 10 reasons. Um, I haven't checked that one out yet. Then we have uh, Free in the Spirit, Romans 8. The Dangers of False Teachers, which is Insights from Jude. This is The Call of Wisdom, Insight from the Book of Proverbs. Know the Enemy, Revealing Truths about Satan. Out of the Ashes. God's presence and Job's pain, which I definitely want to read on this because I, I did a quick study on Job just to show you guys how I use my journal and Bible, and it was amazing. Um, Simon Peter, a rock moved by God. No, the no, I'm um, sorry. Now, what the healing journey through Job's loss? I mean, sorry, through job loss. Sorry, <laughs> um, Judas, son of darkness. David and Manasseh, Manasseh, overcoming failure. John the baptizer, why did Jesus call him great? I got books just falling all over the place, so let me just throw them back in the little bin. Um, the failure of, su of success, the story of Jonah. Mary and Joseph reflecting the wonder of Christmas. This is spiritual living in a secular in a secular culture, lessons from the life of Daniel, which I heard Daniel was good. When God says no, broken dreams to new beginnings. Open hearts, open homes, the call for Christian hospitality. The heart of effective ministry, 1 Timothy 1.5. What we believe, foundations of Christian doctrine. And you guys can tell, like, these are the older versions Whereas these are the newer versions, but they still offer them, and I just think they're amazing, you guys, amazing. I've read only, like, three of these so, so far. Um, why we believe evidence for Christian faith. Evangelism, reaching out through relationships. And these are all written by different people, but they all work with our Daily Bread Ministries. Um, live free, a fresh look at the fruit of the Spirit. This is, what does the Bible say about patience? Being Jesus Online, Biblical Wisdom for a Wired World, which I think is interesting. Keeping the Faith, The Cost of Following Christ. Divorce and Remarriage, What Does the Bible Teach? I know what the Bible teaches about divorce. God hates it. Literally said it in Malachi, he hates divorce. Um, so I'm interested in reading that. What do you do with a broken relationship? What is the purpose of marriage? Why doesn't God answer me trusting God in times of doubt and trial? God is love, the reflection on the characters of God or character of God, the Trinity, the blessings of God's grace, love, and fellowship. Sorry, you guys, I keep looking at the screen because I'm trying to make sure it's in frame, but I should be looking this way. Um, the mind of Christ experiencing the joy of Christ like experience, experiencing the joy of the Christ like difference. Oh my god, I still have so many more to show you guys. This is insane, right? God with us, the promise of Christmas. This is when fear seems overwhelming, finding courage and hope. Um, when trust is lost, healing for victims of sexual abuse. And I am a sexual abuse victim. I've been sexually abused a few times. But um, I just got this because this is something that I still battle with time to time. And I know a lot of other young women that I meet, and either older women that I meet, battle with it too. So this is something that I really wanted to study on, so I got that. Um, when hope is lost, dealing with depression, because I've battled with depression for years. When the pain won't go away, dealing with the after effects of abortion, I've dealt with that, which is why I have this. Avoiding the dangers of suffer superficial forgiveness, obstacles to genuine restoration, because... 
There are some times when we say we forgive and we really do not forgive. So I needed to grab that. What can we trust? How can we trust a Bible that tolerated slavery? I thought this was a good one to read. So I'm interested to see that one. When help is needed, a biblical view of counseling. Oh my God, you guys. I still have a few to love. I'm trying to make this video less than 30 minutes. Um, how can a parent find peace of mind? Oh my God, this is something I need in my life because I find it hard at times. If you guys saw my Instagram live video where I was sharing something and my son was just snoring in the background. Like, whew. The holidays of God, the spring feast, and then I have the uh, fall feast as well. Whew. Okay, I almost finished, you guys. Navigating the Storms of Life by Gary Enrig. And, um, yep. The same guy that actually wrote this book. This is The Risk of Forgiveness, What It Means to Forgive, also by Gary Enrig. This is Finding Peace in a Troubled World. When forgiveness seems impossible, you know? Yeah, yeah, yep. Real love, wisdom from 1 Corinthians 13. Design for desire. God's design for sexuality. Do I even need to explain myself why I got this book? Um, I battle with sexual sin. It is what it is. I'm not married, but I do indulge in sex. And, um, you know, I know that it's wrong. I've been convicted of it plenty of times, but I find it hard to um do and yes my fiance and i our goal is marriage but you know there are times when i try to stop us from having sex and i would say i'm going to be celibate and it'll, it'll work for maybe a few months or a year or two but then i would just fall back into it so i struggle with sexual sin i think everybody struggles with it but a lot, not a lot of people talk about it and i think as christians we need to be comfortable talking about it because it is written in the bible there's nothing wrong with sex god created sex for a specific reason and a specific use but i i feel like the world um has perverted it and also i love michael todd, pastor michael todd from transformation church because he talks about sex um, in his relationship goal series, which I loved. I'll actually leave a link to those two videos down below. Phenomenal. But, um, yeah, so design for desire, God's design for sexuality. When a man's eyes wanders, po breaking the power of pornography. And, um, I don't think that only men struggle with pornography. I believe women struggle with it too. So, I thought that was great. This is Paradise Lost, Rediscovering God's Design for Sexuality. Um, then this is the Pentecost, Pen Pente mm, yeah, yeah, you guys know what I mean, right? The first five books of the Bible, yeah. Um, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. So I got that. The lands of the Bible, places that shaped scripture. Uh, talking with my father, um, Jesus teaches on prayer, which is something I'm going to be reading this month. Moving mountains, the practice of persistent prayer, which I'll also be reading this month. And in his present spending time with God through prayer and Bible study, which I'm going to be reading as well. Because this month, I'm going to be focusing a lot on prayer. And I'll have a video explaining the things that I'll be studying and the things that I'll be reading and stuff like that and doing. But um, that is pretty much it, you guys. I have well over 60 books. Um, Yeah, lots. And I still have books in the mail coming. But I'm just going to show you guys those books next month, you know. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will try my hardest <laughs> to find links to all of these books. And if I do not put the links down below and you guys are interested in a specific book, just message me, email me, Instagram DM me, Facebook message me, or email me, and I will send you the links because these are a lot of books. So just pray for me that I can put all the links in the description bar for you guys. If not, I will probably put a link to my blog and post all the links on my blog for better access. But um, that is it for this haul, you guys. These are a lot of books. I am so excited. My Christian book shelf tour is coming. I just, I have to reorganize it because I have so many books. It's insane, you guys. Insanity. Um, I'm actually thinking about taking my other bookshelf out of my closet, taking my clothes off that bookshelf, and using that bookshelf for my books because it's insane. But, yeah, that is it for this video, you guys. Um, I will also have a desk tour coming soon because I want to show you guys my gorgeous desk that's behind me. But, yeah, that's it for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!